hello and welcome right so um the essence of this web application is to be able to interact with a flask backend and a react frontend right so specifically we are building with next js 13 and why we're using this recent technology is to explore um the relativeness of flask application to you know to all the ui um, frameworks right so i'll go ahead and demo real quick about what this application is all about it's a task master application whereby you can um, create task be able to search task and you know set priority to task as well so everything was built on flask so i'll go ahead and present the demo so i'll try to log in here so you can see we have this little loading spinner now it's trying to get us into the dashboard so on this very home page you can see that we don't have any task so we can actually go ahead and click on the add new task button so when you click on that we basically have to give it some sort of title right so we we'll say um trip to i don't know how that is spelled so trip to mozambique right so you can select category this is for work you can select priority it's very high priority due date will be friday weekend right so description we can just write any description to this all right so <clears throat> we already have our fake description so you can go ahead and just click on the create task button so wait for it to create and you can see we have a success screen task which is successfully and then we already have our task here so everything just work in real time just the way you know react does right so everything um, works in real time and then we can just say, oh i don't need this title to be here we can just go ahead and edit it so we can update it and say okay this title can just be round two right so we can actually um update the title with this um new title so set the priority to um to studies and uh, the category to studies the priority to maybe medium and you can do all sorts of things you want to do about it if a description to right let's just call it one one eleven so do the task you can see everything will be reflected in real time so everything we updated reflects in real time right so that's all about we creating a task i'm going to just go ahead and add a new one randomly okay so we can see now from this end that we've actually added a new task and what i want to demonstrate real quick is the search functionality we're using the bounce here to search for this so our requests i think are made within um i um, think 300 milliseconds right i think something around that range so the search functionality here is the bounced which is a good thing now we can go ahead and just search for a, a task so we can say mozam this will actually give us a mozambi you can see everything just works real time right so that, that's great right so you can actually you know um, remove the search query and then we'll get everything back so that's one cool thing about <coughs> about the search so then we can actually say oh let's worry about we've been able to filter so let's filter by um okay so both of them are studies studies okay so i think i let me just update one of these from studies to maybe fun okay we are aware that one of the categories is fun so we want to actually filter by fun apply filter this will actually return you know filter by phone only right so you can actually reset your filter by clicking on the reset button this will take you back to the initial stage and one other thing you can do you can actually chain your filter query you know your queries right you can chain it and say okay i need the one for phone i actually need it to be medium priority right so can I apply this so it's going to return this medium priority and fun 
right so you can actually reset the filter as i discussed earlier and then you can actually remove a task click on the delete and notice immediately i click on this delete button it's going to remove that task from the list immediately so you can see our task is done it's gone and then we are just left with one task so that's basically the essence of this application you can click on here and log out so this will take you back to the login page so um there's a design for this and also there is the back end code to build with flask and then the front end and next to 10 so all would be presented in the subsequent um, lessons 